Ruth here from Beltane Gifts. Welcome to the Crafting Shares. As you can tell from the chaos behind me, I'm still in the garage and today I'm going to be making one of these little guys which is a needle felted cactus. Now this didn't come out quite as well as I would like. It probably needs another hour's worth of work. I was doing things a bit quickly because I'm supposed to be walking the dogs right now with my dad. So yes, if you guys are going to make it at home, just do a better job than I did hope you enjoyed the video if you do be sure to give it a thumbs up down below also click on that subscribe button and the bell icon if you would like to watch future videos i hope you do any comments any suggestions for future videos anything you'd like to tell me or any questions about any of the techniques that i use be sure to pop it down there in the comments section and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible hope you enjoy the video okay Today we're going to be making the cactus, so for the cactus we're going to need a little plant pot. This is a terracotta plant pot, you don't need to use a terracotta one, you can use a plastic one, whatever you can get, make your own even. Um, this is a really small one because it's going to be quicker to show you. So I've got a little plant pot, we've got a selection of fibre, I've got for the main body of the cactus I've got some carded green. Now this is a forest green, again you can use any colour you like. Um, have a look online and see some pictures of different cacti and then whichever one you kind of like the look of just get some color that matches we've got some brown this is going to be for the the soil so this is this is roving uh, it's a natural one I think it's called Moritz Shetland uh, if I remember rightly it's been a while since I've put this in the bag though so not quite sure um, and then I've got some pink and some yellow this is roving again this is for the flower on top and I've got some just cream or white um, roving again this is a messy bit but I'm only going to be using little bits of this this is for the spikes on the cactus so I've got those there Ooh, don't need that I've got some needles so I've got my full selection so that's large medium and small generic needles um, I'll probably start with the large one work my way down to the fine one for the detail uh, finger protectors because again stabbing <laughs> and all just in case I need to hold anything tiny and a pair of scissors for cutting off some of the excess fibre when I'm doing the spines. So to start off with finger protectors on and we're going to start off with our little plant pot and what we're going to do is we're going to fill it with some of this brown. Now I don't remember how much I'm going to need because I haven't done this project in ages this is what I did originally as a workshop um, I made up a load of the kits so when I was last in the shop I just kind of grabbed what I could for doing videos and this was one of the bags I grabbed so we're going to give this a go. So I've just pulled off some small sections there of the brown roving and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess them up and just pull them apart and get them nice and messy. There we go and then I'm going to pack them just with my finger, push them there we go, just shove them into the plant pot and with my, try the larger one, I'm not sure if this will be too thick, if so we'll just swap down to a finer needle, just going to put that in the handle, what I'm going to do really carefully because you don't want to hit the pot because, well, it's hard, so if I do hit it with a needle there is a chance that I'll break the needle, we don't want to do that, so just carefully, just catching this fibre, just hear that catching the fibre there and I'm just going to being careful of the sides and the base you can, can you hear that tap as I hit the bottom there um, that's why I'm doing it slowly and carefully although this is probably fast forwarded so you might not see it that way but yes just stabbing all over and what we want to do is we just want to go over it and make a nice firm bung of fibre because this is what we're going to be attaching all the rest of our felting to so it needs to be quite solid and I'm stabbing straight down and just kind of going over the whole surface you can see there it's starting to pack down which is what we want now I'm paying particular attention to the outside edge here where I'm just going sliding the needle against the side of the pot and stabbing straight down um, and that's just to tuck those loose edges away so that you don't have loose fibre kind of standing out and then you can go over the centre and just see how that's giving us a nice solid platform there. I think I will actually add some more but I'm going to make sure this is nice and firm before I do that because that will give us something to stab into with our extra fibre. Ok, 
okay so I'm going to grab some more exactly the same as last time just grab the end of your fiber and just pull just pulls off some sections there mess them up a bit pop them on top I'm just kind of tucking the edges in holding it in place with my covered finger and then just stabbing straight down again pay extra attention to this outside edge that's where we're going to tuck in all these loose edges and um, we just don't want any wispy bits sticking out because this is supposed to be the soil so we want it to be nice and soily flat kind of not wispy okay so we've got our pot filled in there that's giving us a nice base to work on what we need next is some of our green now this is carded you can do it with roving but this is just what I've got handy and what I'm going to do start with one section here and I'm just going to pull it out a little bit because what I want is like roving um, like a, a length kind of equal width as well so I'm just really carefully just pulling between my two hands just oh, you see the uh, the fibers starting to spread a little bit and stretch that's what we want don't pull too hard because you'll find that it will just snap um, so just gently there we go what we're going to do is we're going to felt the height of our cactus all in one go and the way you do that is take one end and we're going to stab straight down just into the middle there and I'm going to stab around in a circle because this is going to dictate the size of our base I'm going to swap to a slightly finer needle just because I could feel that that needle was kind of catching a little bit so there we go so I'm going for my medium needle and there we go that's going in much easier which is what we want now the trick here is we don't want to over felt the cactus as we go because we want to be able to shape it afterwards so what we want it's going to look a bit rude is just a sausage a kind of high sausage as high as you want to make it um, not overly felted so once you've got your base in place there what we're going to do is we're just going to twist and then stab down again and I'm stabbing down into the middle mainly to start off with just to secure, just to secure the fibre and then I'm going to work in from the, the side just at an angle so you see there I'm catching the side fibre here and I'm stabbing it down into the earth that we put in before and I'm going to keep working my way down and round doing that and what we want to do is we want to keep that same diameter of circle um, for the base of the cactus we don't want to spread out too much but we want to catch it in and then stab the fiber down and by doing this what we're going to do is we're going to create a spiral of fiber going up from the center there and um, it's just a great way to to build up if you don't want to have to create the shape separately and this technique works for things like the elephant's trunk if you were going to make an elephant or I've used it before when I was making um, a larger swan so if you've seen this one video I've put out instead of using a pipe cleaner if you wanted it quite fine if you were making a larger scale swan um, you could use this technique to make its neck and head so there we go I'm just going to stab some of this down and you can also if you pinch between finger and thumb it just stops the fiber from spreading outwards too much I'm just going to stab lightly on there we go so I'm just going to do a little bit of a turn and work from the next side and it's shifting over a bit too much this way so I'm just going to stab from the side again and pinch and stab down now, this is why it's really important to have your finger protectors for this one just because there's a, a lot of stabbing in your kind of likely to stab yourself if you don't so a little bit of a twist again and again from the side just bring everything in and then stabbing down now I definitely recommend if you can to stick with your medium sized needle needle your medium sized needle at this point um, if you went straight to your fine needle it would felt it and that would be great um, but you wouldn't have much play with the fiber later for shaping so um, we're just kind of we're not overly stabbing everything at this point we don't want to completely felt it in place we just want to get the the basic shape there now as you start building up 
you won't be stabbing into the earth anymore you'll be stabbing into the side of the cactus that you've built so far um, so this is why it's always important to make sure that each layer is quite firm before you start moving upwards okay this is going to take a little while to do so I'm going to fast forward and I'll see you again once I've got the high time after Okay, so I've stopped at the moment because I think I've got kind of the height I'm after and I've got a bit of extra fibre, so I thought I'd get rid of some of that. It's as simple as pinching close to where you want your fibre to end. Make sure you've got a nice tight pinch, you don't want to end up unravelling your cactus. And then grasp on the other side and just pull. So we can put aside that fibre, which just leaves us with our end here. And what we're going to do is just felt that in. So we're going to continue as we were, just wrap it round a bit and just felt in that loose edge. Now you might find that your cactus is a little bit droopy. Um, don't worry too much about that, we're going to work on it. It's mainly just because we're not overly felting it at this point, but you'll find it will firm up the more you stab it. So we're just going to stab over the end here. And I want to round off the end, so what I'm doing is I'm going to imagine that there is a line straight through the centre of this that ends about here. Now at the point, it's in the centre, what we want is the point of our needle to always be stabbing towards that central point. So if you imagine this point down here right in the centre, the needle is pointing here and as it moves up, if you see the angle is changing so that when we're right at the top it's stabbing straight down and then as we're working around the side it's moving so that you're always pointing and or stabbing a 90 degree angle to the to know the surface you want to create so because we want this whole thing to be rounded we're rotating and we're doing the same as we rotate stabbing round in all those angles go rotating again and this just helps keep that rounded shape that we're after so I've got a little bit of fluffiness there we're just going to stab over that and then just stab in the sides there we go so we've got kind of the basic shape we're after have a look around just see if there's any bits that are a little bit fluffier than others we'll just go give those a little bit of a stab so this is our basic shape but what we want to do or what I want to do is create some kind of ridges so to do that I'm swapping over to my fine needle now just a, a general fine generic needle the shortest ones they do work um, in this case I've been working with a 38 gauge star needle lately and um, that's just what's in the handle so that's what I'll be using today but again you can just use the generic ones you don't need to use any of the special gauged ones and what I want to do is I want to create ridges so simply to do that what we're going to be doing is stabbing easier that way for me is to stab in a line so I'm using this sort of angle with my needle and I'm just stabbing just in a line and I'm doing lots of little jabs very close together I'm not lifting the needle too far just far enough that I'm not going to be bending it in any way you don't want to put any sideways pressure on your needles just because it can break them and we're just going to stab up along the cactus just towards the top there I'm just going to stop there and then just go over it again little jabs keep going just until your line starts to be defined now I'm going to rotate it slightly and I want to leave a ridge about that big so I'm going to start my next line here and exactly the same again stabbing down I'm going to pinch just between finger and thumb just to hold everything in place just work towards the top now try and get your your sections equally placed we want them to be about the same so rotate again you want to leave about that much start there 
and do this for the whole cactus. Okay, so we've got our basic ridges there. What we want to do is define them a bit more. So to do that, again, go over your lines. You can stab a little bit deeper. And what you can also do is stab with your needle, if you can see that, pointing just in. And I'm doing this just to the left of the line and I'm pointing, stabbing towards the left. And I'm just going over. And then I'm gonna do the same towards the right, just on the right side of the line. And what this does is it just creates more of a gap between the two sections, just helps define them that little bit more. Again, do that for all of the other lines. Okay, now you may find that you need to go over it several times and keep going around just until these lines really start to hold their shape. And you can also see towards the top here where I hadn't felted it quite as much. Um, it definitely looks looser and it's not holding those lines, so you might just need to go over it again. Now, you also might get this problem that I'm getting is that as you're stabbing and pushing, your base is coming out. So if that happens, just pop it back in and give it a few stabs just to really pack it in there. Um, if you wanted to and you were permanently going to keep your cactus in its part, then what you can do is um, glue it in later if you wanted. But for me for now, I'm just going to have a good old stab and just pop it back in there. Now I'm also stabbing just around the base just to make sure it's nice and firmly connected to the cactus. Okay. okay. Now what you can do as well if you want to is just felt over the whole thing a bit more. Um, and say this end bit isn't quite as felted as I was like. So I'm just going to go give that a bit more of a stabbing and just start to firm things up. Okay, so that's our basic shape. Now you can spend as much time on this as you want to. For me personally, I just want to show you the basics. So if you're making this yourself, what I'd recommend is do the basics and then spend as much time as you want on it until you're happy with it. As I always say, if you're not happy with it, it's not done yet. So basic shape there, it's still a bit squidgy for me. I'll probably go over this a lot later and um, have it how I want it. But for right now, I think that will do, you get the idea. So, what we're gonna add next are our spikes. Now to do this, we're using some white roving and we're just gonna catch just a few fibers. We don't need too many. So if you can see that, it's quite wispy. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to roll them between my finger and thumb and we're just turning them, it's almost like making a thread, so it's a bit like spinning. We're just putting a bit of twist into them and I'm going to work my way down. I could put down the needle, that would be easier, but hey. Um, so we've got a length here of fibre. Now with the type of cactus that I'm working with, um, they tend to have little spikes just all the way down just at little regular intervals from the top down so we're going to have a go at doing that so to do so take your fibre and I'm just going to get it so that the end is just over and lay it over where you want to put your your spikes and with your needle we're catching the fibre just with the end of your needle right on the end if you can see that and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist the needle slightly and stab straight down so I'm catching the center of those spikes and I'm stabbing down with them just so that they're nice and firmly attached. So I'm just giving a little, little pull on that and that's firmly attached, which is what we want. And then with my scissors, I'm just gonna cut off there. Rub them together a little bit. And that is our first spike. And I'm gonna do exactly the same and you can use the same length of fibre several times and um, it's long enough which is great so I'm going to lay it just a little bit away grab our needle again exactly the sa same technique there just lay your needle just over the fibre twist and stab 
and give it a few little stabs there fold it back up put them together and just trim now you can always do these spikes slightly longer if you want to and then trim them all together right at the end and um, that way you can get a more consistent length unlike what I'm doing but yes so um, just keep going and what we're going to do is exactly the same on all of the the sides I'll just leave that a bit longer there we go and once you've got them try and get them in line with each other so for each area we're just going to work from one and work across so that each one next to it is in line that's going to take a little while to do because it's quite fiddly so i will see you in a few minutes okay so i'm nearly done it's taken a while um they have got messier as i've gone along it's mainly because I'm trying to be quick I'm supposed to be walking the dog in a few minutes so I'll just do these last few now as you can see they have been getting longer and messier but uh, don't worry especially if yours are looking a little bit um, split like these ones are because I'm going to show you how to get them together so that they um, all point in the same direction so just do this last one now if you find that you're fibers like this are pointing in two different directions the trick is firstly make sure that they're nice and secure so that might help just by stabbing in the center again bring them together if they're still sticking out a little bit too much stab on either side pointing inwards towards the middle so if you see there I'm just pushing one way and then the other and they're all coming out the same way and then so push the fibres to one way and stab Oops. and then push the fibres to the other way and stab there we go and that gets your fibres going all in the same direction which is great and it also means that once they're both pointing the same way you can figure out the length and just give them a little trim now you might find it helpful as you're trimming it's hard to do because I've got the camera in the way but just to give it a bit of a blow as you trim just to get rid of some of these loose little pieces um, you can go over afterwards just to get rid of them but yeah that's kind of the best way to go so I'll finish those off later because what I want to do is show you how to make the flowers so sorry I can't resist just trimming that one there we go Okay, so once you've uh, finished adding your spikes go over the top of all of them again just make sure they're all pointing the same way looking similar <clears throat> I have got a few here that um, are a little bit sparser if you want to you can add more fiber on top just to bulk them out or you can just have areas that are a little bit more sparse than others it's completely up to you if you do find that you've got one or two that you're just really not happy with um, you can literally just pinch and pull and just pull them out because they won't be that firmly felted um, after which just stab over the area a little bit just to make sure your cactus itself isn't um, pulled out of shape and then just add another one as you did before so just lay it over and stab it into place and there we go so now we've got our spikes it's escaping again Let's shove it back down what we want to do is add our flower now if you want to you you can add a flower you don't have to add a flower I just want to show you how to just in case you want to and what we're going to do is we're going to get some of our pinky color again this is roving I think this is actually some that I've dyed myself so this would be Ida which is um, it's a German hill sheep so it's it's fleece is a little bit coarser um, than the Corridale that we've been using so uh, that doesn't really matter so I'm just going to give that a bit of a pull now I'm not messing this up just yet I want to get all these fibers around the same length first before I do there we go and then we're going to give it a bit of a mess and what we want to do is get the fibers going in lots of different directions and create kind of a ball so once the fibers are all messed up we're going to just rub it 
in our palms just to start that felting process and just to get those loose sections just pull them all in together there we go and just get a, a splodge of fiber we're going to place that hopefully the camera can pick up I'm getting closer and closer um, pop that just on top and with our needle we're just going to stab straight down right into the center and what this is doing is it's just securing everything in place so that's starting to hold and we're just going to stab in the center catch the fibers a little bit and pull those in so that we've got kind of a, a donut shape almost here now if you wanted petals what you can do is just grab and stab towards the center again and just do that in a few sort of sections which leaves you with these little balls of fiber I think we'll go for five so just pull in some of this and then stab in that center again and then we're going to take don't worry it's not done yet take some of our yellow which again I think is Ida just shows you how long ago I've put these together because I haven't been dyeing fibre for a while now so I'm just taking a small section I think a bit less actually we'll start small and then you can always add more if you need to later and just again mess it up roll it into a bit of a ball I'm going to place that in the centre and stab just straight down right in the centre again and this is going through all this fibre and going into the cactus itself which is what we want and then we're just going to catch these loose fibres just the yellow fibres and we're just catching them at the edge and bring them into the centre careful not to get some of the pink and we just want to get rid of some of this fluffy stuff so what you can do as well is just do a swirl so you just kind of catch the fibres if you can see that with your needle and stab them in and then if like mine it's not quite circular just work around the edge stabbing inwards slightly if you see the needle angle there just catching the yellow and stabbing it just around the base area there always pointing in towards the middle which keeps that rounded shape and then we're just going to go over this pink and just make it look a bit more flower like now again you can make whatever shapes you want you can make a more traditional flower or less traditional flower or look at some pictures online and just go by those this is just something really simple go so I'm just catching and just bringing them in make sure that most of your deep stabs are just where the petals meet and if like this one you have a petal that's sticking out more than others you can always stab just underneath just catch this fibre and tuck it down and then catch it to the side there what we don't want to be doing really is stabbing over these bits themselves just because you'll see the holes and we don't want to see the holes so we're just going to stab under and above just catch the extra fibres and what you'll find is that they will naturally kind of curve round into that petal shape and you can spend as much or as little time on this as you want but um, you'll probably find that most of my workshops are really basic um, they tend to be a little bit cartoony they're not particularly realistic in a lot of cases and that's just because they're all based on workshops that I would do at the shop um, where it would be for beginners who wanted to make something in two hours so yeah I've tried to keep it as simple as I can while still kind of trying to keep it a bit different and a bit interesting um, it's like for me I always wanted to learn the guitar but I always want to skip straight to playing a a lead guitar and proper songs and I don't want to have to learn the scales and I think that's why I can't play the guitar so what I thought is if I could make a couple of tutorials that would be interesting but simple enough that you can make it straight off the bat if you're new to this and um, just takes a bit of extra time or if you're more advanced maybe just to kind of inspire you with some ideas maybe a new technique you haven't learned before because I'm a strong believer that anyone can felt anything um, it's just a matter of how much time you spend on it and the great thing with this is you can always come back to it later so I've still got projects that I did years ago that I'll go back to and refelt or go over um, and you can really make things look a lot more I don't know 
modern or I don't want to say the word better but yeah a little bit more advanced maybe you can go over old projects and you can make them look more advanced if you come back to them later so um, just an option so don't worry if this doesn't look how you want it to look right now you can always come back to it so yes just going over these top bits it's gone a bit squidgy and I think we could do with a few more spiky bits at the top so I'm going to do another pick it up another row of these just right at the top now that we know where everything is okay so I'm going to spend a little while just going over it and just getting things where I want them and um, as you can see a lot of my spikes have kind of spread and I haven't finished them properly yet so I'm going to finish these off give everything a trim probably go over the main cactus again just to make sure it's nice and firm and the base just to make sure it stays put and then um, I think that'll be it so let's fast forward that bit so there is our little cactus now as I say you can spend a lot more time on this than I have um, I think I probably will end up spending a couple of hours on this later getting it how I want it but um, as an example I think it will do for now so again optional flower cactus shape you can change that you can make it fatter thinner you can make stalks coming off it if you decided that you wanted to do it like the the ones that you see in the old westerns movies with the the arm coming off exactly the same technique as you use to build up the main body what you would do is you would add a piece of fiber on the side here say stamp around in a circle which would be the size of the diameter of the arm you wanted to create and then you would just keep rotating the fiber wrapping it round and building up and out like you did before uh, to build like a U shape to it just pinch between finger and thumb and remember to stab more on the inside of the curve so if you were curving up like so like so you would make sure to stab more on the inside edge here which would tighten the fibers and bring everything up and round like so and um, that's only if you decided that you actually wanted to make like an armed cactus it's up to you I mean the options are there you can make all sorts of designs using this technique um, yeah <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video and because next week next Sunday is going to be February 14th Valentine's Day I thought my next video is going to be probably a cupid so if you're interested and wanted to see how to make a little cupid for Valentine's be sure to click on that subscribe button um, also if you wanted to make any kind of hearts for Valentine's Day I've got a video if you go through my past videos there's a, a nice basic one on how to make different shaped hearts so yeah thanks for watching stay safe stay warm and I will see you soon mm -hmm.